A fast casual Indian restaurant will open in Boardman, residents with dementia receive some unique therapy pets, and the Melnick Medical Museum has a new space in Kushwa Hall. This is the Daily Buzz. Hello everyone, welcome to The Daily Buzz. I'm Maggie Young. The Mahoning Valley's newest restaurant, Kula Indian Barbecue, is set to open its doors on August 16th in Boardman. Owners of the new restaurant and co-CEOs of Pittsburgh-based Wholesome International, Raji Sankar and Rondir Sethi, operate Five Guys Burgers and Fries restaurants in Pittsburgh and the Cleveland-Akron-Canton region, and have Kula locations in Pittsburgh, the Philadelphia area, and Virginia. Kula offers a menu that includes bowls, wraps, and other Indian street foods prepared on-site with fresh ingredients. Learn all about the new restaurant and George Nelson's story at businessjournaldaily.com. Residents at the Heritage Manor Rehabilitation and Retirement Community in Youngstown receive therapy dogs and cats, although these pets aren't your typical furry companions. The two cats and four dogs received by residents with dementia are robotic, and they're being used as an alternative to traditional pet therapy. Made by Hasbro division Joy For All, the animatronic animals respond to touch with barks, purrs, and moving paws. Their purchase was made possible through two grants from the Mahoning County Mental Health and Recovery Board for outreach programs. You can read more about these robotic pets and how they're helping senior care center residents in the story at businessjournaldaily.com. This fall, the Melnick Medical Museum at Youngstown State University will be opening up in a new space inside Kushwa Hall. Now with the larger space, the museum can show off bigger and newer items, including historic x-ray machines and the museum's iron lung, says curator Cassie Nesper. I think it's important to have a space where people can come and talk about how the history of medicine has changed. Um, it continues to change, obviously, um, but knowing um, the kinds of things that early doctors, early practitioners, the, how they worked, why they worked that way, the tools they used, um, I think it really it makes a difference and it creates a better understanding of the nuances of medicine. It's not, it's not a science, it's a practice, it's an art, it's different for every patient, it's different for every region of the world. And so to have a space to be able to talk about those different subjects and connect them to things broader than just the pre-med students here, but also many different subjects and elementary school students and the public. You can hear more from Nesper in the Three Minutes with interview and read more about the museum in the story at businessjournaldaily.com. And that's all for today's Daily Buzz. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and leave us a comment. If you'd like to dive deeper into any of these stories, links are available in the description. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Maggie Young. 717 Credit Union. Business services designed to meet your daily needs. Commercial loans, business deposits, merchant and payroll services. 717 Credit Union. It's knowing you were treated right every time. Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell for notifications. And also make sure to connect with us on Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn. For all of your business news, visit businessjournaldaily.com. For all of your arts and entertainment news, go to afterhoursyoungstown.com.